Them contests are sneaky. Man. I don't fuck with none of them. <laughs> I stay the fuck away from black them black people, man. Them black people, man. Them them they get you black people get you trouble, man. Not even trying to. Black person only got like be treacherous to get you in trouble. Just a black person, just yeah, it's part of the deal. Yeah, it's part of the deal, man. Um, so so this is Chicago. The, the cousin and brothers. Only on two, yeah, his mission easy, was helping yeah. young people rebuild their lives, but he was shot and killed doing that work. The deadly shooting happened. Is that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yikes. Is that since his name er Erica or Erica? Rebuild their lives, but he was shot Erica. and killed doing that work. The deadly shooting happened Friday outside the Bishop Shepherd Little Memorial Center in West Englewood. CBS 2's Tara Molina is learning the victim was a youth services worker. Tara, you talked to a leader of the church and community center where this happened. Erica and Joe, I sure did. And that pastor told me this is a really rough sign of the times here in Chicago. A man shot and killed on the job, a job he was doing to help prevent violence and give teens a second chance. Weather says try being in a Little Caesars in August during a heat wave with all Shaniquas and the air conditioning is broke. It felt like a hostage situation. <laughs> the good thing about Little Caesars, they get you in and out, so you don't got to spend much time. Well, you got you got to pre-order it, right? Nah, they got them pizzas ready to yeah, go. Yeah, pizzas be ready in Little Caesars, man. Yeah. So this brother right here was a goddamn youth services worker. Got some niggity smoked. Um, Look at these protests. I doubt it. Nah. Give teens a second chance. Look, a lot of young people. Pastor Robert East has seen a lot in his 43 years in West Englewood, but the shooting Friday night outside his church and community center, he's never seen anything like it here. First shooting. First. Our cameras rolled after those deadly shots were fired. Now learning 61 year old Mark Johnson, who worked for Treatment Alternatives for Safe Communities or TASC, was the one caught in the crossfire, shot and killed. He got caught. Oh, crossfire. Okay. I was wondering, 61 years old? That's a little. He got caught in the crossfire. In the gunfire. They were shooting at the young fella. Pastor East says the 16 year old boy Johnson was getting ready to take home from a rehabilitation program was the target. See what I'm saying? See how they get you in trouble? You giving a little son man a ride. If you'd have just told him to get on his way, he'd be like, all right, bye, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he would have got shot. Yeah, he'd have got shot. But you try to be nice. I'll take you home, young man. I'll, I'll give you some guidance on the way home. I'm going to talk your head off about what you need to do on the way home. Some man will be sitting there like fucking. He gonna have his ear, ear earbuds in, fucking listening the to AirPods? the young boy and shit. Are you talking? You wasn't gonna get nothing accomplished with that ride anyway, man. Right? Yeah. And you, you lucky if he ain't carjack you at the end. The uh... he texting his mans and them on the yeah, yeah, y'all on the way. I'm on the yeah, way. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he in a he in a um he in a red Honda he in a great Honda Accord 1991 model. I'm gonna park up the block. I'm gonna park up the block. <laughs> I'm gonna tell them to drop me off at the top of the block. Yay. Rehabilitation program was the target. He was shot in the leg and is expected to be okay. Look at the way they live. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. This the street. That's the street. That's the they, concrete. The concrete jungle. <laughs> yeah, man. That's exactly what it looks like. Goddamn concrete jungle. That's what it is, man. Bob Marley. The jungle, the jungle is reclaiming the sidewalk. That's what that <laughs> is. Yeah, I saw a documentary on History Channel. It said, what if people, if, if people went extinct or something like that, how long would it take for um it to for right. all human, you know, existence to like for it to look like we were never here? And they said, like, maybe a hundred years, man. Yeah, it would well, start. It would start looking like you know. what I'm saying it would, it would be hard to see certain things, and then after like two, three hundred years, you wouldn't see nothing. You have you have a photo of it beginning right here. Yeah, because maintenance. Because we don't realize how much maintenance is done because of gliders, man. Gliders maintain the shit, man. Yeah, that's crazy. Don't break those maintenance. Already <laughs> Yeah, but they're being like 
the workers, the the, 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 the the structure that's making it, the laws, the ordinance that are requiring those fucking um, maintenance is gliders. The burritos are just doing the job. Oh, definitely, look, definitely. Look at how rusted all. The, look, 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 look at all, all these these poles. These poles are changed out every certain amount of years. You know what I'm saying? These, yeah, I, I, I have to admit, I, I'm very captivated by with, with everything you're just saying right now. It's very fucking interesting. Yeah, I wonder if I could find that man that that, that documentary. It's very, very. Interesting. But I'm talking about how the gliders, that the ordinances, is it's it's, yeah. it's it's interesting. I gotta admit. Yeah, there, there's build there's factory buildings in uh, in Detroit that are being reclaimed by nature like that. Yeah. Yeah. Life after people, the last humans on earth. Yeah. Um, this looks bad for sure. Yeah. This looks pretty bad. Leg and is expected to be okay. The persons who did the shooting was already parked out on the street waiting for this young man. This gym was filled with teens involved in other programs hosted here Friday night. Thankfully, no one else was hurt. This is one of the rooms the task program uses in the Memorial Center building. They give him an option, come to this program or maybe be incarcerated or whatever. So a lot of them use this option. So you got some rough and tumble kids in this place, man. Task responded mm -hmm. to our requests on the shooting and Mark Johnson's role with a statement. Quote, Mark's job at task, actually his mission, was to help people to rebuild their lives. And Mark tragically lost... <laughs> Help people rebuild their lives, and they helped him um, with dismantle his they, life. They helped. They helped him meet his maker. Moment, That's what they did. Meant that he was on the job. Going on to say, Johnson was a hero of this West Englewood community who wanted to help the neighborhood's most vulnerable. As for what's next, Pastor East says there are plans to beef up security here moving forward. After 43 years, he says the first shooting needs to be the last. We're going to do what we can to come up with a plan with task, night district commander to see what can we do to prevent this kind of misstep from happening again. We weren't able to get in touch with Johnson's family in reporting this story. I have been checking in with. Stop inviting them fucking sun teams to your fucking business, your building. Chicago police throughout the day. This is still under investigation. They won't tell me if they've identified a suspect. But no one is in custody right now. Reporting live outside the 9th District Station, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Tara, thank you. The acting director of Cook County's Juvenile Probation Department told CBS 2 they're offering their condolences to the victim's family and the youth and employees affected by the shooting. More from them in this story right now. You'll find it on our website, CBS Chicago. Mm, mm, mm.